Hi everyone, this is Wayne Eckerson, founder and principal consultant of Eckerson Group. I'm here today with Yoav Raka, a solutions engineer for Anadot, and he's going to show us Anadot's cloud-based machine learning infused analytics service that detects anomalies across thousands of metrics in real time and automatically conducts root cause analysis. So Yoav, it's all yours. Awesome. Uh, hi, everyone. So as I uh, mentioned, I'm here. my name is Yoav Rock. I'm from Anadot. So I'll just show you through the platform very quickly. So what we do is we are a real-time analytics engine that is, a lot, that is able to show you insights uh, on every instance that goes through your platform, uh, through your data stream. So let's go ahead and take a look. So on my screen right now, what you see is an Anadot alert. So the way that Anadot works is that you stream in your time series data, so any sort of data that has a quantitative value and time attached to it. And what we'll do is we will learn the normal behavior. And by learning the normal, we'll be able to automatically understand what is abnormal. So in this scenario, you can see we are working with a e-commerce client, but we are data agnostic for the industry. You can see here we're being alerted on revenue, but we can be alerted from anything like in ad tech, the number of bids that are coming in, or for gaming, the number of uh, daily active users that you're actually taking a look at. So um, when something important to you happens, something that you want to be uh, notified about, you'll receive an alert that looks like this. So you can see in this scenario, uh, we're losing revenue, and we're seeing a number of metrics that are actually being affected. So what I can do is I can click Investigate, which I already have open here, and bring me straight into the Anadot platform, which looks at something like this. So what Anadot does is uh, find these incidents in real time. You can see this incident is uh, already occurred, but if uh, we were opening this alert in real time, it'll look something closer to, to this. So what does Anadot do and how are we different? So there's three core tenets of what makes Anadot valuable and what makes Anadot uh, important. So the first thing that we do uh, very, very well is time to detection. How long between the, the, the incident occurring to the time you get an alert, uh, um, how quickly can we actually get that uh, to you so you can start diagnosing and fixing the problem? So the way that we improve time to detection is this. So you can see right here, let's look at an example of one metric in the specific incident that's becoming anomalous. So what we're looking at this first, uh, at this first graph well, is measure revenue. So we're looking at revenue for the product family shoes in the country, Germany, on device type mobile, OS, iOS. So you can see this is a very granular metric. So what we do is for each one of these unique combinations, so across all your different SKUs or all your different product families, uh, throughout every country, every device type, every OS, we understand what is normal for that combination. So you can see right here, um, this dark blue line is the data stream itself. You can see this is coming in once an hour, but we can go down to once a minute. And there's a thin light blue sleeve around it. So this is where the machine learning comes in, and this is where uh, we become very powerful. For every one of these unique combinations, we're going to understand what is normal for this, uh, for this metric automatically. So without any input from your end, it's a completely unsupervised process. As it comes in, we built a custom model for each metric. And we understand based on the time of day, based on the, uh, the unique individual trend for each one, what should be the normal point right now. And what this allows you to do is get rid of any sort of manual, manual maintenance or manual thresholding saying, this is normal and this is not. So for instance, let's look at this incident. And this incident occurs on Wednesday, December 6th, at about 12 a.m., we start to see anomalous behavior. You can see that the moment it leaves that light blue sleeve, it's registered as an anomaly and says, okay, uh, there's something wrong here. So let's say you had, based on traditional methods today, to be alerted on something like this, you'd either have to set up a threshold saying, let me know if it goes off 20% from the normal value at any given point. Or you can say, I want to set up a static threshold draw a line, something that looks like this, that if it crosses this line, send me an alert. But the problem with this is that 
if you set it on the bottom level for the night, you're not going to get an alert. Um, you're not going to get an alert because it simply doesn't go below what is the lowest value. It is incorrect for the time of day, but it is not lower than the lowest it can be normally. Uh, if you set a percentage, it can take a very long time for it to actually deviate to that extreme of a percentage. So by learning what is normal in a very, very precise way, we can, we can understand, hey, this is becoming anomalous faster than a traditional method. The second thing this really saves you on is scale. So today, um, to do these thresholding, to do this manual th uh, thresholding, it's impossible with, uh, to do it on every single combination that you have. If you think of a traditional dashboard or to think of a traditional or any sort of monitoring tool, to actually put a threshold on every single individual unique combination will take a team of analysts. It will be very, very noisy because you're constantly adjusting that threshold as your business grows. It'll, it will be a very monumentous task. So how does Anadot deal with scale? As every, so basically for every one of these combinations that are coming in, we will automatically do this sort of analysis. So you can see here, uh, in this particular incident, we had 72 metrics that became anomalous. So as all the data comes in, we, uh, we actually do this analysis. So in this particular incident, you can see we had a, we had an alert just set up on revenue. But because we're doing all of this, um, and we're doing this uh, across your entire data sets, we are able to solve another problem, which is time to resolution. So we already are able to detect very quickly, but once we detect, how do we help you actually solve the problem? So in this scenario, you can see uh, we have 12 revenue metrics that become anomalous based on the alert that we sent. But because we have, um, we have all this data streaming and all these different KPIs that you may not be interested in getting alert on, but uh, are still relevant to this incident, we're able to, uh, we have a very unique correlation engine. So if I click this button, which is only showing metrics from the alerts and resetting it, you can see now we have a number of different uh, new KPIs that we automatically uh, correlated based on our algorithms. So these algorithms are very complex in the way that they work. We analyze uh, the abnormal behavior of the metrics, so which metrics are becoming anomalous together. We analyze the names of the metrics themselves, and we analyze many different things to actually build what we call a custom topology, something that says, okay, this is the map of what's related, and if anything goes wrong, let me go check these things and bring them all together to one investigation. So this helps in a number of different ways. The first is that it allows you to get one alert rather than 700 when something goes wrong. And it's all grouped together and it's all where you need to see it. And the second is it helps you understand what's going wrong. So in the simplest terms, uh, you can see that we have 72 metrics that became anomalous for this investigation, things like purchase counts and so forth. But instead of looking at each one one by one, we can turn to what we call the Anomap. So this is a way to uh, speed up your time to resolution very significantly. Today, when you notice something is going wrong on a top level metric, like let's say revenue by country, uh, you have to go through something I call the engineering checklist. Something that you have to say, okay, now let me double check all the different devices that are coming in, uh, what's becoming an OS. Let me check all the different OSs, browser types, uh, product families. Let me narrow down this incident into its into what it actually is. But with Anadot, we flip the script. So you send everything at the bottom level and we're able to do that checklisting for you. We're able to do that investigation work and say, right here, uh, you can see for purchase counts, for instance, we are seeing the darker the color, the more prevalent it is in the incident. So you can see right here for country, we're seeing this anomaly happen in all countries for product family, the same, but we're only seeing this on mobile iOS. So immediately we should understand, okay, uh, within seconds we say, oh, we got an alert. It looks like it's focused primarily on iPhones. 
we see the drop in revenue in the, doing the exact same thing. If I go to the next page, you can see we can even bring in operational metrics alongside business metrics. HTTP errors, payment API failure counts, again, only happening on iOS and only happening on mobile devices. So immediately we know this problem with iPhones. So we're already 70% of the way there. So we understand, hey, um, I got this alert. It came in, it came in uh, within the first minute, two minutes that it occurred. Now let me go ahead and check uh, where it's occurring. Okay, it's occurring on iPhones. What could I have done to cause this problem with iPhones? So what we have is what we call manual events or static events that you can input into it. These are things that you know could cause an anomaly. Most commonly, we see that uh, based on our business analysis and what we've done so far, most anomalies are caused by deployments, people putting out a code uh, change and seeing something wrong. So if for this instance, you can see that we actually pushed a uh, deployment from one of our event management systems, Jira, Jenkins. And you can see that there was a version 3.0 deployment. So deployment was released for mobile devices. Uh, and then right after the deployment occurred, the anomaly occurred. So you can see that uh, you can put a lot of important information about the alerts and the events. Uh, we see a lot of customers putting something like uh, release information, code change information. So being able to really diagnose exactly where it's going wrong on, and what things need to be fixed and saving you a lot of time from when you get that alert to when you actually fix it. So this is the bread and butter of the platform. Uh, to sum it up, we're able to do it very quickly. We're able to understand when an incident occurs. Uh, as, soon as, it, as soon as it happens, we're able to do this at a tremendous scale because we aren't expecting you to put any sort of manual inputs other than what you want to be alerted upon. And we're able to speed up the time to resolution that uh, when an incident occurs, how fast can I actually find the problem and diagnose it and start deploying the correct teams to fix the issue, put out a hot fix and actually get, uh, get your tool, your business back on track. You'll have a great demo, uh, very powerful. <clears throat> One question, to do all these correlations with these other metrics and events, uh, is that all done kind of automatically? Uh, you just kind of throw it into the stew and it finds the correlations itself, or do you have to set that up? It's completely unsupervised. So the, the system works automatically, no user input as far as correlation goes. Listen, thanks for the demo, and uh, I'm sure our audience will uh, want to look into this tool in more detail. Great. Thank you.